Thank you to Skylight for sponsoring today's video. What's up you guys, welcome back to another video. As y'all can tell by the title of this video, we were in New York this past week. You guys saw probably over on Instagram, but we had so much fun. We went last year too. You guys know we went out for Shine's birthday and we always make a little trip out of it. New York is just such a vibe. I love New York so much. It was actually fall because here in LA, it's still kind of warm. So being able to like bundle up in coats and, you know, seeing all my friends, that was just always so much fun. And just doing a solo trip with Vaughn is always nice. Like it's just so crazy to see how much Vaughn has grown up especially since the last time we went and guys new york is like a candy store for kk you guys know he's obsessed with cars and to see all like the cabs on the road and the subway and the buses he was just he was in love and you guys are gonna see in this vlog but vaughn is in his vlogging era okay like he is obsessed with vlogging anytime he heard the camera turn on he's like he beats me to it. He's like, hey guys, today we're doing this. Hey guys, today we're doing that. Before we get into the vlog, the holiday season is literally here. I swear we blinked and we're in November and it's about to be December and it's about to be Christmas. I know you guys are probably gonna start your holiday shopping soon if you haven't started already. So I wanted to share with you guys one of the gifts that I got for my parents and I think it'll be such an amazing gift for any loved one in your life. This right here is the Skylight Touchscreen Digital Photo Frame. This allows you to instantly share photos with your loved ones no matter where you are in the world. This is the ultimate grandparent gift, okay? My mom has actually been asking me for photos of the kids, but this is the perfect way to do it because again, it is digital and I was able to add the photos through the app on my phone. But the cool thing is you're able to add the photos to the picture frame without even having to get the picture frame out of the box or open it or anything. You can pre-program the pictures in so when you gift it to your parents, the pictures will already be on there. So again, you're able to update the photos too automatically. Let's imagine this photo frame is at my parents' house in Ohio and we just took new holiday pictures. I'm able to instantly add that to the photo frame. So it's kind of like the gift that keeps on giving for grandparents. So as you take new pictures, new holiday, holiday pictures, new birthday pictures, you can keep adding them to the frame and it'll be a nice surprise for your parents or the kids' grandparents whenever they look at the frame again and they're like, oh, look, there's new pictures on there. It's so easy to set up. All you do is just connect it to your Wi-Fi and then you can send photos through the app or again, you can invite your friends and family to add photos. And again, I love the fact that it's touch screen so I can easily delete a photo if I wanna take it off of there or change the cropping, change the zoom or anything. Skylight Frame is the perfect gift for yourself or your loved ones and you guys can actually get 15% off using my link i'll put it in the description box for you guys down below or you guys can scan that qr code on my screen so again make sure you guys take advantage of that 15 percent off and let's get into the rest of this vlog Y'all, we got a Tesla. We're in New York. <laughs> Bro, what? Fuck, like you don't love him. <laughs> you don't want me to keep singing? Please, man. Concrete, what, what is this, what are the lyrics? Where dreams are made of. <laughs> you can't. Hear your mom, dude. Yeah. KK loves Great. my voice, right, K? No. <gasps> okay. You don't like when mommy sings to you? You know, he is a very honest no, man. I, I like a little, little bit style. <laughs> he likes Gangnam style, that's what he just said. Um, we will, we will rock you. We will, we will rock you. Does that sound good? Yeah. Thanks. I don't ever, Mel just said, and I agree with him, if you're from New York, don't you ever complain about LA traffic, ever. Because why is it taking us an hour and 15 minutes to go 15 miles? It's crazy. 
At first I told mom, like maybe we put in the settings that we don't want to go on highways, like back roads. Everyone's honking out, it's a mess. This is crazy, this is super slow moving traffic. Yeah, dude. With this people making a lot of like wild decisions. And then on top of that, guys, they kind of like lost my bag in a way. So Mel and Kayvon got their bags and I was waiting for KFC. Me. Yeah, guys, Mel hasn't had a meal in 24 hours. Also, guys, Mel was up for a full 24 hours before he took a nap on the plane. But yeah, we all slept the entire flight. Like it was a four hour flight. And from the second we took off, so pretty much I woke up with like 20 minutes left of the flight. Yeah, well, I think we both woke up with like 30 minutes left. Yeah. I remember when they were bringing the cart around with refreshments and stuff, I kind of like woke up a little bit and the yeah, flight attendant and the flight attendant was like, um, the guy was, the flight attendant was like, would you like a drink? I'm like, no. He's like, would you like a snack? I said, no. And he goes, just more sleep. I go, mm -hmm. and then I dozed off again. <laughs> the thing that was bad about this flight, obviously there's really nothing to complain about, but we were on one of those planes where there's like three sections. So there's like a row in the middle and then sections on the outside. So I feel like there's a lot less leg room. So literally my knees were jammed into the seat in front of me the whole time. I'm off zero sleep, so I was not comfortable at all. So I'm looking forward to getting to the hotel and laying down. Guys, the camera went out of storage, but as Mel was saying how he was so uncomfortable, the flight kicking in the back goes, well, I was comfortable. I'm like, yeah, you're two feet tall. to our hotel you guys yeah shout out to Mel for driving through that crazy Stop. new york traffic Stop. i love this mirror right here oh i think that's our bags Stop. hello Hi. so this is the same hotel i stayed at with um isha when i came in march and i really loved it so we came to this room i mean it's cute it would have been fine if it was just mel and i but it felt a lot tighter than the room i stayed in with wow. isha so I just called them up on the phone and asked if that exact room, like I looked up in my records and I found the exact name of the room. So the room I stayed at with Isha, this is a king bed suite, like a king bed, one bedroom suite. Um, the one I stayed in with Isha was a two queen bed, but it was just much bigger, you guys. Like this is just pretty tight. Like, let me show you guys the bedroom. See, this is the size of like the room, you see? So like if we were to open our suitcases, it would be a tight squeeze. You guys can clearly tell the boys love this new room. Yeah. It's much I bigger, huh, What are you showing us, Kay? The cities. The cities? Yeah. Okay, you want and, some and help? Now, now we are in New York. <laughs> that room down there is better. <laughs> that that room's that. better? Yeah, down there. Okay, you do not need to be sitting like that, babe. This is my bed. That's my bed and my mom sleeps on the couch <gasps> Mommy yeah. sleeps on the couch? Yeah. You guys can see it has like a big living room. Keke said he wants to make me coffee. What are you doing? I make your coffee. Oh my god, he's actually like doing it right. Babe, why does he know how, why does he know how to work at espresso? Hey, wait, okay, I think we do it this way. Let me see. Okay, you put it in the side like, like this. See? You have to put water in it though, okay? Huh? Okay, now you close it. And then you just press the button. Press. This one. Oh. KK the barista. I I got the coffee. Don't don't touch it. It's hot. It's hot. Let it fill. Hi, Kay. Hi. You excited? Yeah. What's up, guys? We're just walking up to shine. Oh. Birthday. Hi.
You can be the best thing, you're the best thing. Can I be your bestie or your best friend? I'ma be the bestie, you're the best thing. It is the next day. We had so much fun at Shine's birthday, right, KK? Yeah. So much fun. Y'all know Rissa and Kwan always go out for their parties. So it was just so much fun and so nice to see everybody. So on our way home, we wanted to stop and get Vaughn Wendy's or something just to hold him over. And because he never eats at parties. I know, guys. Any party we go to, KK he's... never eats. He had one hot dog. That was it. Because he's just too busy, like, playing. So he was hungry when we left. So we were about to stop at Wendy's. And right next to Wendy's, guys, there was a Texas Roadhouse. Like, Y'all know Mel and I love Texas Roadhouse. It's like a but, nice comfort restaurant. Yeah. So like, come for us, like, it's we definitely know it's not, not the great. highest, like, quality yeah. food. But it is very comforting for us. And the closest ones to us in L.A. are, like, an hour and a half no, away. two and a half. Like, two and a half hours away. Like, they're not close at all. We did it all. one time when she was pregnant. Because I'm like, if you're we pregnant were bored. that bad. I was pregnant and bored. Yeah, I'll, t I'll make the drive for you. <laughs> So yeah, we stopped and got some Texas Roadhouse last night. And y'all, the steak medallions with their rice. Like, there is something about Texas Roadhouse's rice. Like, 
Oh, so good. So yeah, now we're about to go explore the city. Mel and Kayvon have already gone out because yesterday while I was getting ready for the party, they went to the slime museum. It's called like the Slumu Museum. Yeah. Here's a little bag from it. Kayvon rode a subway for the first time. I believe they're and... opening locations in Houston and LA too. Oh, that's so cool. I overheard that yesterday. So be on the lookout for that. It was a lot of fun. We got to make our own slime. You get to put scents in it. They have slime all over the place you can play with. A little playground. Vaughn enjoyed himself. Guys, with this trip, we really didn't make plans. We're really just going with the flow because Mel and I are both just so tired and overwhelmed and stuff. Like we were just like this trip, again, just go with the flow. Whatever we feel like doing that day, we're gonna do. Like, we've been to New York plenty of times, so it's not like we wanna see like all these sites. Like one thing we have for sure is, so we both have friends out here in New York. So tonight Mel is gonna go out with his friends, go to like a little bar or something. And then tomorrow night I'm going out to dinner with my girls, so. That's kind of one way no, we like compromise. No, 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 you're not gonna stay here by yourself, babe. Either oh. me or daddy will be here with you. Let me see, what are you playing on your Switch? A race game. Let me see. They, they have this in Target. You got it in Target? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Kayvon had a serious what? pizza craving. Like, yeah. Anywhere we would walk past, we would pop, walk past like a ramen spot. Like, Look, let's get ramen. Like, no, I want pizza. Is it yummy? Yeah. I got the pizza yesterday. So we just came to this ramen shop. I actually ate here with Kiara and Isha last time I came and it was so good. So I got like a curry um, and Mel got a ramen. But they also have juices, so I got this like immunity booster shot, and it has like ginger, turmeric, and it has literally Mommy, black I pepper. Can I your juice? I don't think you're gonna like it, baby, but you can try it. Look, it has black pepper on top to activate the to activate no, turmeric. Like Here, take a sip. Take a sip. Here. No black. Taste it. Cheers, babe. I well, got a what? Apple mango juice. Oh, I, I want that. Daddy, I'll yours. Hey, that tastes like hell. I hope you know Kayvon has these coins on the table because when the waiter came, Kayvon said he has monies to pay. So he put his coins on the table to give to him. Yeah, I did it! Got KK the kids ramen. It's so cute and little. Just like him. I'm gonna try it. Guys, okay. right. so I got I got chocolate. Guys, <laughs> right. okay, oh, they have a little cupcake. Oh, that that, that good. What? This too, here, okay. what is, so yeah, guys, we just finished eating and we just walked back to the hotel real quick because we want to go to Bryant Park. We um, drove past it last night and it looked super cute. So it's called like the Winter Village at Bryant Park. So we're going to head there. But since it's about to get dark outside, like the sun is setting, we wanted to switch clothes. I honestly didn't really bring like sweaters and stuff. Guys, see, this is my problem. While we're outside, hmm. yes, I, I like... I'll make it cozy, Daddy. My problem is when I'm outside, I need like the extra layers, but I get hot really easily. So if we were to go like sit at a restaurant or something, if I'm wearing like a chunky sweater, like I'll be overheating. So I think I'm just going to stop and buy like a hat and gloves so I can easily just like take those off and put them in my bag. KK changed into the cutest outfit, y'all. He looks so cozy. It's like a little suit, like a teddy bear suit. Huh. Look. Look at this bear. Okay, your mouth is so dirty. We gotta wash it. Huh? Your mouth. Huh? Okay, okay, look, look. Look at our shoes. Look, look at mommy's shoes. Yeah. We, we match. Guys, so we are the taxi. Is <laughs> the second the camera comes on, KK is ready to tell you guys. <laughs> I just don't want to see your body. I was trying to get a picture. Wait, I didn't get it, Kate. Some chicken parm. His food. Okay. 
KK walking the streets of New York. So we are, we are going to get hot chocolate. Yes, so guys, as you can see, I ended up getting my scarf yesterday. It's from Mommy, Uniglo. We just stopped at Uniglo again. Get we'll, get, we'll get it at the park. Okay, come on. Yeah, we'll get it at the park. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, we went to Uniglo. Finally got my scarf. Guys, ever since I got this scarf, I noticed this is like the it girl scarf in New York. Every girl got the scarf in every color. But we are walking right now to Bryant Park. There's like a cute little shop area. Guys, look at this gorgeous, what is this, a church? Well, and Kay got some chicken and fries. Guys, I literally bought these earmuffs on the side of the street because <laughs> my head was so cold. But I got this like fried pickle skewer from this place called Pickle Me Pizza. I'm trying to teach Kay because he loves pickles. And he was like, no, I want pickles. And I'm trying to explain to him, this is a pickle. It's just fried. Yeah, he's like, no, that's chicken nuggets. But I'm like, look, I literally took the breading off of one. I'm like, it's a pickle. Here. Yummy? Told you, KK. We told you. You want to believe me? Pickle. I was like, let me just sit, open one up for you. I promise you, it's a pickle. He's like, no, it's chicken. Told <laughs> it's so you. funny. Told you so, okay. What's up you guys? I totally forgot to intro today's vlog. Like I didn't start in the morning. And I'm gonna be honest guys, like we don't leave the hotel room until about noon. Because you guys know that New York is three hours um, ahead of LA. So noon in New York is 9 a.m. for us. And you guys know at the end of the day, this is a vacation for Mel and I. So like we're not trying to cut our rest short. You know, like we don't really leave the hotel until like noon. Um, so by the time we get up and we all get ready. So today I really wanted to go to Bryant Park. So we drove past it a few times and it looked so cute. So they have something called the Winter Village. And it's just like a bunch of little shops and restaurants. There's an ice skating rink. But we decided to walk to it. So just that alone took like 20 minutes to walk to it. But we also stopped at this coffee place. So that added another 10, 15 minutes. But it's always fun to walk because A, we're getting our steps, we're getting our exercise and we just get to see like more things. So that was just fun just walking around the city, but we spent like a good three hours at Bryant Park. It was really fun. And I met a bunch of you guys there too, so that was super sweet. Speaking of walking, so you guys know how Mel met up with his friend last night? So he left at like 10.30 to meet his friend at this bar, like 10.30, 11. And as we were walking, Mel was like, yeah, I walked past this yesterday. I'm like, you walked? He's like, yeah, I just decided to walk to the bar. It was like 30 minutes. Um, train or 30 minutes to walk so i just walked so i'm like must be nice to be a man like can you imagine just being able to walk 30 minutes at night in the middle of new york city on a saturday at 11 p.m like must be nice so tonight is my night to go out with my friends so i'm meeting up with Rissa and Monet. She's also bringing her friends too, so that's gonna be fun. Um, Malia wasn't able to make it anymore, so it's just gonna be us, but I'm super excited just to like see everybody. So yeah, I just took a quick shower and I'm just doing my makeup, but I think Mel and Kayvon are gonna go to the movies while I go to dinner. That's another thing too, like do you know how scared I would be to go to the movies by myself, like just Kayvon and I, in a city I'm not familiar with? Like I could never. We are eating at Beauty in Essex. We have one in um, in LA and it's so good. So we're going to this New York location. I really want to film like an in-depth video on my go-to glam lately because I have changed some of my techniques and I've just been loving my makeup. Like I genuinely love how it looks. So I always do like a quick little, like I show you guys as I'm getting ready, but I haven't done just like a go-to sit down. Hi baby. Hey guys. I haven't done like a go-to sit down video. Today, I'm going to movie today. Yeah, tonight with daddy? Yeah. Just so you guys can have like an in-depth tutorial and a place for like a list of all the products and stuff like that. You know, I was watching a video about like 2016 makeup versus this clean girl aesthetic we got going on here in 2023. I'm gonna be honest guys, like the clean girl aesthetic is cute for like the daily makeup, but the 2016 te techniques, like, you just can't compare. Like, I do agree it was super heavy 
for you know just the regular stuff that we were doing like we were doing these heavy glamps to go sit in the living room with like our family i do agree on that it was a little excessive but in terms of like longevity i think 2016 makeup just lasts so much better like when i try to do like the clean girl makeup like two dots of concealer and then i go out by the time I get home and look at myself in the mirror, like I look like a sewer rat. Like, so again, I love the clean girl aesthetic. I do that look myself, but like for a night out, like I can't imagine doing a little baby wing and like two dots of concealer for a night out. I just, I don't see how that can possibly last. Unless you're just one of those girls that have glass skin. So like if your makeup rubs off, like who cares? It looks like you're wearing foundation naturally. Like, but I can't, I can't do that. Like I can't. And there's something about going out. If I'm not wearing a lash, like I have to wear a lash and I naturally have like pretty long lashes, but it's not even about the length. It's like, like lashes just add like this different level of drama that I just don't feel like you can get with, you know, with just mascara. Guys, this really has been like my go-to foundation for going out. This is the YSL All Hours Foundation. The packaging is really pretty. It has like the YSL emblem on it but it just genuinely looks like so airbrushed in real life you guys know what else i want to focus on in this new year i really want to focus on tiktok like i really want to build like my tiktok following but it's just so hard like for example right now i'm filming for youtube i should be filming doing my makeup for tiktok as well but it's so hard to film for both because see youtube you need to film like horizontal and then with tiktok i need to film vertical i feel like social media has gone easier in the sense of we're able to take one video and post it on Reel, post it on Instagram, post it on Snapchat, post it on YouTube Shorts. But I mean, you guys see, I do post my Reels and TikToks and stuff within my YouTube. Um, the way I edit it, I put like those two pictures on the side and then I put the Reel, but I, it's just not the same. It's just not the same and it's really hard. Open the door, okay. Mommy. What's up? Look. What? Break my car. You broke your car? <gasps> Why don't you go show daddy? You can snap it back together. Okay, okay, don't, if you pull the wire, then, look, look. If you pull the wire, then. This birthday party theme is much different. You're gonna love it. How old are you turning? We're up early. I actually have to take these pictures. You know, you had to take care of you. So, of course, I had to get some coffee. I went to live by Nash here in Atlanta. This hot. No. Huh? No. I do with your hair. Straightening my hair? Yeah. It's off, by the way, guys. Don't turn it on. Don't press any button. Because I got this new one size powder. It's like a legitimate white powder. It's in the shade um, Stage White. And I've just been using this for my glam looks. Like right here what's up you guys it is our last day in new york i am so sad i wish we could stay a little longer but we have a super busy week ahead of us y'all know it's mel's birthday my mom's birthday that's just like back to back when we get back so we luckily had late checkout with this room that's where the amex platinum perks come if any of you guys are interested in getting an amex platinum dm me and i'll send you my referral link I don't think it's a problem if I was to like put it at the bottom of this video, but I don't know. I'd rather you guys just DM me directly and I'll send you my referral link because you get a bunch of points, I get a bunch of points, and it just works out. And this isn't like I'm in partnership with Amex, like anybody has that who has an Amex card. Um, but yeah, we get so many perks. We didn't get to- Hi guys! Hi baby. So we didn't have to check out of this room until four, which is so nice. It's only, it's about to be three, so we're about to leave now. Our flight is at 10 o'clock at night, so we're just gonna go walk around the city a little bit more and then start heading to the airport. But yeah, guys, we just packed up all of our stuff. Show them all the bags, Kay. KK took all the bags to the front. Let me see. Right here. Oh yeah? Yeah. Daddy's taking out the room. Good job, baby. Let me go grab my purse. And we're off. We just got that cha cha matcha, and KK saw they had ice cream soft serve, so you know you had to get some.
What's up, you guys? Is this zoomed in? It looks zoomed in, doesn't it? So we, we, were, we were going <laughs> okay. back to California, guys. <laughs> guys, this trip, I don't know what it is, but KK's been loving the vlog. Like, he needs a channel of his own at this point. As you guys can see, we're back at the airport. We're about to return our rental car and get on the plane to head back to LA. Mel is such an airport dad, y'all. <laughs> Babe, you look like... <laughs> this is all of our stuff for four days. Will be Terminal 8. For Terminal 1, please transfer to a free show. 